What's up, everyone? Lord Vino here, or Austin. So, um, this is not gonna be like my typical videos. It's gonna be a little bit of a more depressing one, kind of like just me, kind of just me yapping pretty much about what is going on. So, if you live, if you've been living under a rock for like the past twelve hours or so, you would know that um, the creator of Dragon Ball. The person who helped Dragon Quest, Journey to the West, you got all these other, you know, mangas and games that he helped with. Um, and I'm talking about Akira Toriyama. Um, now, before we get into it, I just want to say rest in peace to him. He was um, the GOAT, quite literally the GOAT, making millions of people just fall in love with his storytelling, his mangas, his just everything. He was such a good, like, manga gaka. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, he was just so talented in what he did that he created something like what you're seeing on screen. Um, And let me say this as well. To any scumbag that decides to disrespect him <laughs> he being gone his family is still probably gonna make more than you that's probably not the point anyway um i don't like scumbags who make fun of um people's deaths especially if it's gonna be someone like akira toriyama that's not okay it's not okay to make fun of anyone's death especially someone like that with that much talent who was he may have been 68 years old, but there's, he had plenty, like, he could have, had, I, I really wish he could have stuck it out for another, like, 20 years or so, because I, I feel like it'd be awesome for him to see Daima, the first episode of Daima, um, genuinely, like, that it is kind of sad to think that he won't even get to see his creation like that, like, his newest, like, project he won't even get to see like the final result um and that's just kind of heartbreaking honestly because like he, he there's he worked on this for probably multiple years and in the same year no not the same year close to the same year he passed away just when it was supposed to come out which i think is just one of the most um, just saddest things ever. Um, seeing how far Dragon Ball has come, I remember just watching all of Dragon Ball, all of Dragon Ball Z, all of Dragon Ball Super, all of it. And I remember growing out of anime, growing in and out of just phases of anime. And every time I would come back and watch anime, the first anime I would go to would be Dragon Ball every single time. Um... And I remember when they released Super, I, I genuinely could not, like, I genuinely could not contain myself because it brought me back to anime. Seriously, like, after Super, I started watching more and more of anime. And let me tell you, if it wasn't for Dragon Ball, I would not like anime at all. I... I used to despise anime, like, when I'd go in and out of my phases when I wasn't watching anime, I would say anime sucks, but you want to know what I would never say? Dragon Ball sucks, because you want to know what doesn't suck? Dragon Ball. Anyway, that's enough of me yapping. Um, I just wanted to come out and make a, like, just like a respect video towards Akira Toriyama, because that man is genuinely a go and... Um, I can't imagine what's going on through, like, the cast as heads and just everything, everyone a part of Dragon Ball. I can't imagine what's going on through their head. Like, the cast, the crew, the directors, like, could you imagine what's going on through their head right now? Anyway, um, that's really all I wanted to come out here and say. I just wanted to, you know, come out here and pay my respects and, you know... You just gotta, just gotta pay your respects to such a legend, man. You can't, like, there's no way you can't pay your respects. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little 
kind of quick little rant video about me just talking about what's been going on. And I hope you guys, <laughs> I can't even finish the rest of the video. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.